I am AJ Schifano. I'm a product manager on the JD Edwards Enterprise One development team. My responsibilities, as, as Ali said, orchestrator. Also, you know, across our entire digital platform, that includes workflow in our low code, no code extensibility framework. I've been with Oracle JD Edwards for uh, 26 years. So yeah, our, what is a simple statement of our JD Edwards product strategy? This is the piece, you know, of quarter by quarter, hopefully you can see that JD Edwards is kicking out enhancements at a fairly prolific rate, not just in our digital platform area, but in system administration, the applications themselves. That piece changes pretty pretty quickly, quarter by quarter. The, the piece that doesn't change as quickly is our product strategy. And so you might be asking, what is this? And on the application side, yeah, we, looking at the applications over the years, we'd really like to take the opportunity to simplify the UI, automate business processes. And then for the applications themselves, whether it's um, inventory, manufacturing, sales orders, w whatever you use, financials, um, keep building out and enriching the functionality, the features in those individual applications. On the digital platform area, then that's where I fall in most uh, specifically. We are focused on process automation. And again, we hope you've achieved some success, or at least you've realized that there's a lot of opportunity for process automation with orchestrator and workflow and some of the enhancements we've been putting out recently. Low code, no code. You've heard this already um, in, the, in this first 30 minutes. That is a key component of our strategy. And I'll uh, get a little bit more into that, I think, in the next slides. And these enterprise integrations. We realize that as important as JD Edwards is as your ERP system, and it could and should be a central point for all of your valuable data, we're not alone. There are, and Mark has enumerated a whole bunch of very important, useful integrations that you know he, he's had to build. And we want that to be quick and easy. Then similarly on the system administration side, we wanna make it as easy as possible for you to install, update, earn, uh, um, deploy and maintain your JD Edwards system. And that includes adopting cloud characteristics, maybe even running JD Edwards on cloud, um, modern infrastructure, good solid security, good solid hardware, um, and being able to update and patch quickly and easily. So hopefully with that kind of strategy statement, you're already picking up some key phrases from what Ali and Mark have said already that uh, demonstrate that yeah, everything they're doing is, is very much aligned with our product strategy, especially automation and low code, no code. So let's take a, you know, a, maybe just a quicker deep dive into that. Um, you know, what is this thing that we refer to as the JD Edwards digital platform? It, it's not a module that you license. Um, all the pieces and parts, you know, most of them are included in your JD Edwards uh, core tools license. We know we have JD Edwards applications that are the, the primary place where users inter interface with the software. We have financials and manufacturing and asset lifecycle management projects, and you know which applications you're using. And at the bottom of the slide, we can imagine, we, we usually never see it, but there are some JD Edwards servers running somewhere, whether they're in a locked behind a door on premise or whether you're running JD Edwards on some cloud infrastructure, you know, that's where the servers are and the data is stored. So this digital platform is a layer in the middle and includes things, as I mentioned, like orchestrator, notifications, workflow, in our entire extensibility framework, form extensions, form personalizations, user-defined objects, all that, you know, is generically encapsulated in the digital platform. And that's important because we use that digital platform to make all of our applications better. And whether you know it or not, if you're using any of the UX1 role-based pages or watch lists or form extensions or logic extensions, those are all extensions to the applications themselves. So those up and down arrows on the top show that our applications are benefiting from our digital platform. But horizontally, it's also the, the place where we interface with the digital economy, right? And Mark already mentioned, he's leveraging Orchestrator for some integrations, right? There's Oracle Sales Cloud or Field Service, several third-party things. And so Mark has leveraged Orchestrator as an integration out to that digital economy. 
Another piece of that digital economy is specifically, you know, what about something like Swift, something that could surface mobile or web applications? Um, you know, that is a component. So that's what we're focusing on here today, using orchestrations to provide the services back into J.D. Edwards applications. There's no need to rebuild a financials application as a as a mobile application. There's no need to rebuild time entry, right? Because J.D. Edwards is doing that on the back end. All you want to do is use a low-code, no-code framework like Swift to, to build out a better, easier user interface. And therefore, and I hope I'm not speaking uh, improperly, but the, the work on the UI side is much lighter. That's why it is lighter and faster, because you don't have to build these applications from the ground up, leverage J.D. Edwards for what it's good for, and let the orchestrator expose J.D. Edwards functionality as services. And just a word about, you know, our extensibility framework. And this is, you know, our view on why low code, no code is so important. You know, as Ali already teed up, you know, we're addressing um, a, a skill set that we like to call business analysts, citizen developers. You know, yeah, certainly traditional J.D. Edwards developers are in this too. We're hoping to accelerate and ease their burden, let them uh, be more productive with these. But we're trying to move from a typical a developer is required with a long development cycle. We need to know Java or C or some programming language, maybe even JD Edwards development skills, event rules, a JD Edwards development client. We go into a couple of weeks of development and we build a package and deploy it. It wasn't quite right. So we test it, we fix bugs and the users got their requirements wrong. So we go back and have to do it all again. I mean, that's a, a fairly long development cycle. Instead, what we're trying to do is a, get to a drastic reduction in, in time, you know, down from those weeks to maybe even hours, um, less dependency on IT. If I have a good idea, you know, why do I need a developer? Just because I don't understand a programming syntax should not stop me from implementing a good idea. And so we're putting a lot of time and effort into enabling this, you know, army, growing army of, of business analysts. The real reason to the business about why this is important, um, you know, reducing the time, cost, complexity, and skill set of getting these things done. You know, if you want to light a fire under your business, it's possible to do that by rubbing sticks together. But that takes a lot of time and energy. Wouldn't it be nicer if you could light a fire just by striking a match or flicking a lighter? And that's what we're trying to do is, is get to the point where these, these projects, these great ideas, these adjustments, uh, in, ingenuity, these can be conceived, developed, rolled out, and tested by you know, less dependency on a traditional developer, more by business analysts. And they can be done so, you know, in a, in a couple of hours or days. And if we can do that, now the fire is lit without, oh, do I really want to go through the trouble of rubbing two sticks together? No, let's just flick a match and get this thing done and put a fire under the business. So that, that's the business reason why this is so important and why low-code, no-code frameworks like Swift um, is really uh, lighting a fire under the business like Eastern Propane. But the idea is to keep J.D. Edwards as your system of record, right? Your digital gold and front ending that with effective mobile applications, web applications. That's what keeps the data accurate, real time, up to date, easy to collect. So yeah. very, very important part of the strategy and keeping that gold rolling in. So, yeah, we're we're tight on time. So thank you for the opportunity for AJ to give a commercial announcement for JD Edwards in our enhancements. So I'm going to limit three. I just want to say three things in about 10 seconds each. Yes. Release 24. We are on fire as a JD Edwards development organization. We do continue to put out enhancements. Please check learn JDE, read those announcements. You can drill in to individual features. Uh, generally by quarter, we'll come out with a new release each quarter. So release 24, we'll have a, you know, a spring and a summer and a fall before we get to, and yes, we're already deep in planning release 25. You can click and, and read these little snippets 
to see if these enhancements apply to you. We're not going to read these, of course, but I encourage you to st stick with JD Edwards, um, learn JDE and find those enhancements. Second thing I want to say real quickly is where are we taking this next? And you know, we've had great success with Orchestrator. Congratulations, Mark. Congratulations, Ali, Ali for adopting those things. Uh, we're not necessarily claiming victory, but it does cause us to say, where do we take it next? What is af after process automation? And we're calling it enterprise automation. We're taking the, the incredibly gold, valuable data that you've collected in your JD Edwards system and realizing that there's more we can do with that to ingest that data, build process models, analyze what we see, have metrics on top of those models, reveal surprises, opportunities that maybe we couldn't see before that are locked in that data, look at those and with some ingenuity, solve those problems, roll out solutions in a light of match, not a rub the sticks together, <laughs> light a match kind of thing, solve those problems, get them out there fast, and then measure the effect and, and go around again. So enterprise automation encapsulates all that. And we've got a whole slew of product enhancements that are building up over time over many quarters uh, leading up to this enterprise automation uh, initiative. And then lastly, I would say, stay connected with us, right? Hopefully you're connected with the uh, social media that our team puts out. Uh, the Quest Oracle community user group has done a great job of um, hosting conferences and presentations. So we participate that uh, quite a bit. Um, yeah, hit the Learn JDE. And another one um, just recently launched, just getting started, our vice president of JD Edwards product, Paul Hout Cooper, and a customer, Chandra Wabshaw, have started this JDE Connection podcast. So that's meant to be uh, informative, light, entertaining, and pretty much targeted to business analysts, this new army of people who we hope to empower with our low-code, no-code solutions. And I think everybody on this call would probably be interested in that. So thanks for letting me uh, have that commercial, Ali. I'll get out of the way now. Any more last-minute questions or... Thanks a lot, AJ. Thanks a lot, Mark. Um, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to have both of you, and I, I hope and uh, that everybody benefited from our session that we had put together. Thanks, Ali. Thanks, Thanks AJ. guys. Thank you.